My, my goodness, guys. Alfred Montaner here. Guys, there's every now and then a boat that just goes crazy in the comment section. And this boat, I filmed it in the Seattle Boat Show one year. It was out of the water. And I see it here at the show. Justin, you mean to tell me you guys brought an ocean sport roamer to Fort Lauderdale? They didn't know what they were missing, so we figured we might as well bring one down. Oh my goodness. So, wow, you didn't even know who I was. <laughs> no, I didn't. Guys, so I was doing my long video. All of a sudden, I see this boat. Justin didn't know who I am. And then how many people have told you, hey, I've seen this boat on Alfred's channel? More than I can count over the last two days. <laughs> so, okay, so look, I'm so glad that you guys brought this over here. When I filmed this boat, it was at the convention center, Justin. Sure. Um, I remember it was like a fishing boat, um, but it's big. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big boat. I remember that it's like something that Pacific Northwest would use, but it's over here in Fort Lauderdale. And I remember this, this whole area that opens up. Yes. So can we open this up? Absolutely. Guys, look at this. I, I mean, the person who decided to, look at this. Oh my goodness. They have no idea. It is like, what, maybe five, six feet down there? Yep, that's about right. It's a little over four feet. And we can also put uh, insertable fish boxes and cold plates in here. So to keep your uh, catch. Pressure. Oh, but that's not more. There's more. You can open more, right? You, you can keep on opening, guys. Keep on opening because you guys, you guys just catch as much as you can, go as far as you can, and then come back with as much fish. And that's, that's what a lot of people love about this boat. Look at this, guys. We actually have the range to do it, which is the best part. So we've got 325 gallons down here. Um, that'll definitely get you out and back comfortably. Regrettably, guys, I don't have audio just for Justin, but we're going to try to go ahead and see if we can get the best audio possible because you know, my audio battery died. It's, it's unfortunate. What opens in this hatch over here? So is there something else going on here? Yep, so this is the main battery bank. House and start batteries, and also for the thruster. And how much fuel does this tank hold? This one's 325 gallons. So, the, so 325 gallons the total boat holds? That's correct. Okay, one or two tanks? Two tanks. Two tanks. Yep, separated in the middle. You can fill on both sides. There's two fills, midships, and one aft. Was it a Volvo IPS that they had on the other uh, one that we did at, at Seattle? Do you remember that or no? Yeah, Volvo IOs. Uh, yeah, so okay. Be the D4. Yes. Yep. yep. And they're great engines as well. The new nice. Volvo systems that are coming out, and we're going to have a 33 down here very soon. They are the most impressive IO setup with the joystick that I've ever driven. So is there is there some more storage down here where you're at here? Yep. So we have the fish box in here, so you can see the different configurations. So this is more fish with the pull-out for storage. Oh, yes, I do remember that, to clean, yes. Yes, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. This is why, this is, listen, Justin, people were on my comment section telling me, where's that company, where, how can I find them? I was like, dude, I don't know. So, so I know there's like things that happen, right? But now you guys are actually making them in Washington. That's correct. And, and you guys are representing Seattle Yachts, right? That's correct. Okay, so let's go inside here because I think this is what they're gonna really wanna see. Um, obviously, this is the fishing side. We got, a, we got a second helm here as well. Yeah, so the second helm is great. So when you're fishing and whatnot, you need to back down and fish. You don't have to run inside. Come right back here, throw the throttles, or if you're in autopilot, you can actually just push the joystick back and run as far back and as far fast as you'd like. You know, we, we are not used to having a second helm here in South Florida. And I don't know why. I think it's going to be a game changer. I think, uh, listen, I'm in AC right now. That's why you're outside and I'm inside. <laughs> Come inside and let's close the door and let's talk about this, uh, this pilot house. Sure. So one of the uh, finer features that we're doing in these boats now, they're actually produced in the Nordic Tug factory. We brought a lot of the finishings from Nordic Tug into the Ocean Sport line. Corian countertops, we've got the Sapile finish on all of the uh, wood on the inside and then the Antico flooring. The great part about this flooring, it's synthetic. Mm -hmm. You can literally take a hammer to this thing, no damage. People that have this boat love this boat, don't they? Absolutely. We don't have any used ones because we can't get them out of their hands. So, I know that there's a small berth down here, right? Yes. Can we go look down there and check it out? Please. All right, guys, let's look at this uh, small berth down here. 
Look, look, look at the opening area, nice and open. And you can, you can actually close it off with that there and make it like a, a little table if you wanted yes. to. Oh man, and the air is kicking awesome in here too. This is, this is huge down here. So, so this is not the main berth, right? That's correct. So this the is berth that I like to sleep in because it's definitely the coolest. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the, the air, the air conditioning feels great over there. Oh man, it cranks. Let's close that. Let's close that door so we can see one of the things that I think a lot of people underestimate when it comes to pilot house boats, right? Because this is, this is what this is about. This is about basically being comfortable in like right now it's sunny 90 degrees maybe over here yep are you used to this weather over here miami no i'm not <laughs> well for a lot of them but it's crazy yeah <laughs> so guys this is what it's this is kind of like what what's good it's uh, in seattle man when i was in seattle dude it rains every day every single day a lot yeah. <laughs> i mean when i was there it rained every single day i was like you didn't see it before but i had to scrape the moss off my shoulders oh before my down, goodness so. dude <laughs> it's so rough to see so so tell me a little bit about this layout inside here and tell me a lot, a lot, some of the features and stuff that we got here so versatility is key in this boat. Okay. The forward seat will actually flip. So you have two forward uh, sitting seats so you can mm -hmm. see outside while you're underway. You okay. can also move the secondary screen that's out uh, for the aft steering station. Okay. So your guests can see what's going on. All right. Um, with that being said, you can also run the radar off it. So you have your GPS plotter on the other side, you know, uh, that way you're, you're feeling safe when it's uh, a little less you know, ideal out. Um, one of the new features we put on this boat is the zip wake, which is an automatic trim tab system. Nice. That will make sure that it'll keep the bow flat when you're punching out of the hole, and then it'll also automatically adjust as people move about the cabin. Did they have the option to have outboards before, or is that something no, that you guys so changed? The, the Ocean Sport 30 is new to the Romer line. They were doing a 26, and then they were also doing the 33. That's the one I filmed, the 33. Exactly. Because it was a little longer in the back. Yep, so what we wanted to do is create a little bit more of a versatile package. The 30 is a really, really nice sized boat especially for when slips are hard to find. Dude, I, I'm, I really am liking this boat. And I remember one of the things that attracted me to this was the bow, like with the entrance sure. of, of the design of the boat. This thing is like, it's a heavy boat, right? And it just plows through the water good. Absolutely. And the other thing, and you know, one of the leading comments that we've gotten is that people were actually seeing the boat on the way to the show. They would see the lines and realize how striking it is. It is. Come directly it's, here. It's beautiful. So you got a little sink here, and uh, you can you can cook here. Yep. Little burgers. galley here. Now you guys also, since you guys are in Seattle slash Washington area, it's kind of cold up there sometimes. So you guys have heaters in this as well. Absolutely. So this is reverse cycle heat and AC. Okay. Uh, we can also do a diesel fired furnace depending on your location. Very easy to do. What's the beam on these guys? Uh, it's a little over 10 feet. A little bit over 10 feet. I remember that I would get so many comments on that video. It was crazy. All right, so let's go down here and, and, and talk about what we got going down here. Oh, look, this is where I en ended up putting my backpack. Little storage area, nice and deep. Can you, can you let us know a little bit something about the windshield, um, Justin? Because you know, the South Florida boaters don't, don't understand why the, the windshields are like that. So with the diamond sea glaze windows and the actual angle of the windows, it's to help shed water. So on the really bad days, hard chop, things of that nature, when water comes, it will actually recess off the windows a lot easier. Awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. Look, you got some 12-volt some, uh, hookups. Now, one of the things that I remember is that you guys have a lot of space below absolutely and then look like i just took two steps down and uh i mean i'm i'm pretty tall guys i'm 6'5 225 and ripped that's an ongoing joke I'm, <laughs> it's an ongoing joke no it's true you're not supposed to laugh <laughs> justin it is true guys it is true but look you have a nice birth birth here um you have an access hatch here as well and uh is this a closet here yep so it's hanging locker in there you have six foot four uh, for overhead clearance, so the tall guys, you know, we can fit you down there, no problem. You also have a uh, head in there, plenty of leg room. We didn't cramp anything up. Oh man, this is bigger than what I thought. Yeah, have the pull out shower as well. All right, so so they're making this at the Nordic Tug factory. That's correct. You know, I've done some videos of Nordic Tugs. Uh, well, I do now. Well, listen, you. I, <laughs> You, you need to you need the internet in your life man i'm feeling a little sheepish about this <laughs> listen doesn't, doesn't matter <laughs> listen doesn't matter 
But now you know. Now you can binge watch on all the crazy content I have. I'm gonna be busy tonight. Well, yes, listen. Trust me. You're 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 gonna be like, how did I not know, guys? Um, but listen, this is this is a a, a nice big um, head. I like it. This is this is awesome. I'm so glad that I was able to stumble across, and I'm glad they didn't give up on this boat because there are so many people that um, like this boat and. Don't, don't certain people that, that are working with this brand now, are don't they love this boat themselves or no? Absolutely. So the act, the owner of the company owns one of these boats. That's how he ended up to acquire this business. You said that's his baby. That's his baby. <laughs> so that's your quoted word. He goes, that is his baby offline. And that's probably why he wanted more people to have their babies. Absolutely. So one of the interesting parts about me starting with this company, when I learned that we had Ocean Sport, I told the general manager of Seattle Yachts, I want that to be my boat. Once awesome. I actually got established a couple years later, he saw that I could do it, and uh, dreams real. Awesome. So let me ask you, like Sea Keeper options and stuff like that. What's 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 that look like? Can you put a Sea? You have, you definitely have the space. Absolutely. Does it need a Sea Keeper? Does you know from 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 what you've been on this boat? What, what's your what's your thinking on that? So one of the interesting parts about the Sea Keepers is it really depends on the boater. Okay. Most of the boaters will opt not to have it just because they don't think that it's a necessary product. Me personally, if I'm going to be out in blue water all the time, you never know when it's going to kick up out there. And it's actually a very, very nice option. And for those of you guys that don't know, Seakeeper is basically a gyro system. There's other systems as well that are not Seakeeper, but they're gyro. So they'll, right. they'll, they'll stop the boat from rocking back and forth. So just kind of similar like that. All right. So they, they remember the boat. We're going to refer them back to the 33 that we did the video on. I'll probably link it to the end of this video. How do they contact you now? Because, I, dude, I got every other co comment was... Hey, where, where do I find that boat? And look, right now when there was somebody, when I pulled up on you, what was it? Somebody was there. I was like, oh shoot, it's Alfred. Absolutely. That was one of the first things he said when he got on the boat. He's like, have you seen the YouTube video that Alfred did on the boat? And I said, no, I haven't. Who's Alfred? And I was here 20 <laughs> minutes ago. You're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, but listen, now you know. Um, and, and I'm sure, I'm glad to see. So, so you guys are going to be here in South Florida. That's and great. you guys are going to have this boat and you're marking it to basically all of the u.s instead of just the pacific northwest correct this is a wonderful boat and it doesn't matter where you're at it's versatile if you can fish it you can go out and camp in it um, and you can do it comfortably what motor package does it have now and how fast is it going so that's a 300 mercury twin um, it goes about uh, 33 full tail boogie um, we cruise generally speaking around 26 economically can you put other engines if you want to or not? Absolutely. So we also do a Suzuki package and there's a Yamaha package available as well. No, okay. Now let's talk to meat and potatoes. What are we going to look at price points and, and, and build times for something like this? So if we're starting a new build, it's about a six month process. Okay. Right now we have one that's popping out every month and a half, just depending. Um, so we are moving more efficiently these days than we ever have. So the boats are starting to gain momentum to be able to have them on market and available at our storefronts. I just read in the Wall Street Journal that the chip shortage is now a chip glut. So mm -hmm. we might start getting engines again and all the things that were a problem during the pandemic is now hopefully um, ending. Price point, um, the way this is sit sitting in, uh, what is somebody expected to pay for something like this? So these boats usually run anywhere from 500K to 550 fully rigged. So for almost just above half a million dollars, you're gonna get this much boat. Second station, second helm here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the bow real quick before we end this video because I think there's a lot of value here. And, and not just that. I mean, look at this, guys. This boat, I remember, it was designed, wasn't it designed by like a, a big fishing guy that was really like into fishing? And, he, and I, I, I'm trying to remember the story, but I remember a lot of people were talking about this over there at Seattle, and I was like, I gotta film this boat. Absolutely, so he's definitely a staple in the Pacific Northwest. They're out in the San Juan Islands. It's something that he had a passion for too, and it was a boat that didn't exist yet. So it was one of those things, if, it, if you don't have it, you make it. Yeah, and, and I love that. I love that about this. Let's go to the, to the bow real quick and uh, show them what, what's going on over there. Guys, let's go ahead and and walk the bow so we can see what's going on. Okay, one of the things, okay, so there's non-skid on this entire. Wow, listen, I can put a small tender up here. Yes, you can. Yeah, dude, there's a there's room for a tender there. Yep, tender, paddle boards, kayaks, you name it. 
Listen, I, I don't, I think, I think people have not uh, gravitated to Pacific style um, Northwest pilot house boats, not because they don't like them, it's because they don't see them down here. Sure. And now that they're gonna start seeing them down here, they make sense. Look at this, guys. Look at look at this. Um, all right, give them your information, because I don't want them to call me Justin. Sure. I want them to call you. <laughs> Sounds good. Justin at SeattleYachts.com, and I'll get you going. Justin at SeattleYachts.com. That's your email. Yes. All right, guys. Hey, listen, I'm gonna be on this video because you know, I don't call me. Don't don't message me. <laughs> call him. All right. I'll take care of you. All right, guys. Over here, four lot of the boats you offer, Mother Megan. See you guys always. Dude, watch my Cheers. channel. You gotta watch my channel. Dude. I will. <laughs> <laughs>